and golden chest. My, my hands are shaking. Okay guys, for a long time, I was planning to do this challenge. We're gonna play like zero to hero with one simple rule. We cannot use auction house, trade between players, everything that we're gonna get in the game, we need to get it ourselves. Including mounts, consumables, armor, gear, literally everything. In such mode, I'm planning to play for more than one day. Like week, two weeks, month. I have a plan on the game. We'll see how, like, how it's gonna perform. But yeah, wish me luck. It's our uh, day number one. Imagine, like, we are playing Albion, but a single player game. And there are other players that we can kill and get their stuff. Amount of new players, by the way, is incredible. I'm surprised. Middle of the night for EU timer. Oh, and the only thing, by the way, guys, the only thing that we gonna get is premium. Because I don't see any reasons to make our journey even more harder, more hardcore. There is no sense. So premium, I'll get for real money. Or we'll buy it from my main character, only premium. One more uh, thing that I want to add during this challenge. Like items that we can buy from Auction House um, that are created by the game, like mules on this tutorial island, yeah? Soups tier 1 that NPC is selling. Like Auction House, yeah, but now that other players, NPC is selling. I will be able to use. Because we can play, of course, uh, with everything crafted by my own, yeah? But we're gonna waste one day for nothing. I'll be forced to level up fishing on day one to feed my stations. It's just loss of time, and anyway, we are not using help of any other players. We're using in-game features, like in single-player game, yeah, that allow us to boost our progression. So that's why soups tier 1 that are created by the game, not by players. Mules uh, that we can buy from this tutorial island, I will use. The rest, again, will be created by myself, gear, uh, consumables, horses, we're gonna get from killing other players or raising ourselves on our island. It will be an Iron Man challenge, something like that. Like in World of Warcraft, if you was playing um, solo self-found mode, you also was able to use uh, regular NPCs, uh, buy basic gear. In this case, it's gonna be just basic food or basic mule. I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal, huge problems, and I don't think people will be against it. Plus, action that we're gonna experience during our run will be much faster. I will not spend one day of grinding and leveling up, leveling up fishing. Because at the end of the day, I love PvP and I want to hunt down players. What weapon are we gonna play? We're gonna play different type of weapons. For different type of content, really, we're gonna use different type of weapons. For Corrupted Dungeons, I'm gonna use uh, Warball. For mm, Mists, I wanna craft actually Carving Sword. 6.0, 6.1. So, we will craft Bow, because we're gonna use Nature Staff. We will use Heavy Boots for Wanderlust and for Healing Run. For this, we're gonna use Cowl for knockback, Mercenary Jacket for invisibility. When we're gonna get tier 4, that's how we build. We're gonna start with nature, again, to accumulate silver, uh, so I would have enough money uh, to buy islands. When I will have enough silver, I will gather uh, resources, build stations, and try to craft my own tier 4 gear. Once we're gonna craft tier 4 gear, I will be able to make first 4.0 warble um, with my main set. I will go in crafted dungeons and we'll get horses and consumables from other players that's our goal at least for now guys i do realize that first few days might be boring at some point because we're gonna basically mimic our eu or asian fresh start without counting on any help like we'll do everything our own there were a question about final goal my actual final goal playing this character is to switch on this character as on a main character and play albion only like an Iron Man character. I know it might sound crazy, but that's how I want to play this game. That's how I want to enjoy Albion. Only playing on Iron Man character. I know it's it might be too much, and I don't know how it's gonna go in few days, in few weeks, but I want this character to be my new main. Are they gonna grind? They're gonna play all items that I'm gonna get booby craft by myself if we're gonna get it via PvP. And eventually, we're gonna play group PvP with Coco or with others, but I'm gonna be special. I will not be able to trade them, and so on and so on and so on. I will not be used. 
able to use Auction House. I want to transform this challenge into the new way of playing the game. That's my final goal. Will it be possible? I don't know. Will I be able to handle it mentally to play like that? We will see. So I'm gonna stash this mules and we're gonna start gathering because I need to craft on this base stations my tier 3 gear to open nature stuff. Let's just go and gather. I think we just need to go and gather. Hello, holy blonde. Hello. Have you seen any 8.4 Infinity Blade around? No, I did not. <laughs> Guys, I will not take your donations. Listen, I do appreciate your gesture to support me, to give me some items. I'll check what you have inside. Of course, for content. But there will be no point of playing this Iron Man solo self-found mode if I'll just buy items from markets. will transfer it from my main character or if I'll accept donations from you. It will not be uh, fair. Towards myself, it, I'll be not honest with myself. I will not be honest with you as viewers that want to watch this whole journey from zero to actual hero when I'm gonna do everything myself. So no. But thank you for your gesture. Man, you got lots of items. 628k with, listen, with ox, with horse, with tier 2 items. Guys, if you want to get the 628k, come to Red Lake on this spot and get your reward. It's your loot, guys. Let's grab this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. If I need uh, to craft lots of bags, it requires leather and cloth. Okay, let's go. Congrats me, we can craft tier 3 tools, it's huge. Now let's take tier 2 tools. Mm -hmm. We'll boost it with learning points, obviously. Okay, we leveled up our tools to tier 3, we can use tier 3 and gather even tier 4 resources with tier 3 tools. We can craft tier 3 tools already, I own patents, yeah. And now we need to level up our crafting and craft our first tier 3 nature staff build for PV. So let's go. Okay, let's craft our first weapon that we're gonna use. Our first crafted nature staff. We have it. Uh, should we use uh, also a torch with that? Huh. I will not use torch right now. No. It's too expensive for us right now. Uh, let's uh, level up crafting or cloth, yeah? Because we need helmet. Again, um, let's craft five. Then we're gonna study this. Uh, let me check. Uh-huh, okay, we need more. Actually, two. Mm-hmm. We open crafting of tier 3 gear. Now we can go and craft our first tier 3 helmet. Nice. Now we need heavy. Mm -hmm. We study. Let me check. One more. One more armor. We study. Nice. Uh, now we can craft uh, boots. I can actually craft uh, a tier 3 soldier armor. I think soldier armor will is what we need. Because leather jacket will not uh, help us a lot. We got pretty nice stats. Native stats. And that's all we need. Yeah. In this case, I will take actually and craft um, torch. Let it be.
And in such magical way, after a few hours of playing, now we have our first tier 3 set. Oh, by the way, where is my boots? Wait. Boots. Now it's good. Farming set. With this set, we can do PvE in Black Zone. Now we need silver. When we will get enough silver, we will uh, be able to buy islands. And on this island, we'll play stations. We'll level up our stations to tier 4 and craft our first tier 4 gear, uh, which gonna be Warbo set. Uh, and we're gonna use this Warbo set to kill players in Corrupted Dungeons. Something like that. Can we? Guys, it's time to do PV. Okay. Some money. I like it. Easiest money and fame of my life. Eleven K, nice. It's good. Well, basically, we are playing in a suicide setup right now. Oh my god! I should actually take regular run. It's a mistake. I might die because of that mistake. No. Oh, it was a stream snipe, by the way. Hmm. Imagine how miserable you need to be to stream snipe someone that is doing challenge on a self-found Iron Man character to kill T3. But it's not a big deal. Like, we can craft it super easy. I opened craft tier 3. Well, I was ready for this mentally, so it's fine. Now, we have four regular sets. We have three mules to lose. When I lose three mules with these sets, I'll be forced to farm only yellow zones. Which is fine. It's still okay. It's not a big deal. But let's say if I'll be killed by stream sniper or by other players, I'll be forced to play in yellow zones. Because we need this last mule. But for now, we just go in uh, black zone again. There is a challenge in a journal to finish a solo dungeon in tier 3 gear. But final boss. Oh, well, that's what we're gonna do. For journal purposes only. Okay. Can I? Blue one, yeah, like I said. Back in the days, it was purple. What do we get? 8k, yeah. It's sucky loot. What did it be? Yeah, we got finish a tier 5 solo dungeon. Uh, and defeat a boss with tier 5, uh, tier 5 boss with tier 3 equipment. So we earned um, 10. Man, we earned 20 learning points, not fame. See? 20 learning points is a lot, actually. It's uh, a lot of raw silver, if you're gonna kill him. 167 fame and 33k of... Uh, yeah, perfect. We even get in tier 4 gear. We're even getting tier 4 gear. It's awesome. Let's, let's not overhype this. Yes! Let's teleport back. 180k and lots of things. Yeah, you're completely right. Fuck Carleon. We're gonna live in mists. But there are also... Oh my god. There are also enchanted resources and round mists. So if I'll need to gather some uh, basic resources with no, with no people around, this node's gonna be full. I think mists is a five-head decision where we need to live. Because not only there will be access to yellow and red zones, there will be access to mists and to Avalonia roads for future. And I can craft easily corrupt dungeon maps and farm corrupt dungeons uh, also around Brasilian. I think it's a perfect plan. First, it's gonna be a royal city, maybe Limpers, maybe something else. Later, when I feel that I am ready to move to mists. 
Right now we need to kill this uh, red boy. Okay, this mob is done. Now we need to kill this boss. One hundred eighty K of fame, forty six K of silver. Oh, come on, man. We can't listen. Now we have our tier four quarter stuff. We can go in craft dungeon on quarter stuff, even right now. If we're gonna get a uh, chest, any tier four chest in tier five location. But you know what? First, we're gonna go in solo dungeon. We're gonna clear it for journal rewards since we're in tier six zone and then go in tier five. Oh my god, it's so annoying, boss. I mean, like that. Oh, it's a blue one. Give me jackets, please. No jackets. Okay. Okay. Perfect. 16k. But it's alright. We we'll finish the journal. Finish a tier 6 solo dungeon. Finish a tier 6 boss with tier 3 equipment, and we got 50k fame tome. Perfect. We're gonna claim this rewards later. Mage sandals. It's good. Mage sandals are nice. We can use them later. So also found mode. It's a sniper, by the way. I fuck up a bit. Guys, we got some money. We earned some money. We got a new mount. Or oh, maybe it was not a sniper. Who knows? Maybe it was just a greedy boy. Uh -huh. We're gonna wait for this debuff to be over. Outlaw debuff. And we will teleport back. Man, good job. We have dual swords. We have hunter hood. And we can use this gear, guys, we can use this gear in corrupted dungeons. That's what I called content. Some food, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's a useless food, though. It's for gathering. We can use it anyway, later. But imagine, each item that we got from him got value for us. There is no trash items. Literally zero trash items. I love it. And the whole adventure that we're gonna have from day one to week two to week three to month number one at the end of the month we will experience the same emotions how fucking cool is that this mount is probably the best uh that's what we need because this mount giant stack will allow us to gather more resources more stone and we will uh progress and build our island much faster because of this giant stack and i still got and i have a mule by the way yeah a classic i built Helmet. Not bad. Not bad. Mm -hmm. That was good. Okay, now we need to... Uh, yeah, we unlock journal. Um, tier 7 finish solo dungeon. Tier 7 boss with tier 3 equipment. And we get 20 learning points. Perfect. Now let's clear these mobs to open the chest. Blue one. Shitty. Uh, but, yeah, okay, boots. Tier 6 boots, and by the way, I have specs, enough specs to use it, but we will not use it right now. Let's teleport back. We have 700k in our pockets. Oh, wait! 
It's Enchanted Dungeon. Let's go there. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Okay, we rooted him. It's fine. Ah! 12k, let it be. Let's go further. Mm-hmm. Easy. Okay. Almost on full health. And golden chest on solo self-found character, guys. Any item we're gonna get, we're gonna use. Any kind of loot is valuable. It's fucking magic. 330k. But the most important. Clever crow, hunter jacket, mercenary shoes. Items that we can use. Uh, soldier helmet. All items we can use in Corrupted Dungeon to kill other players to get their horses and their consumables. It's insane boost. Equip cape? Oh, man. You are a fucking genius. Now we have Avalonian cape 5.1, crafted by Feda Flores. Feda, you are part of this legendary run. You are. Yeah, blue one, it's gonna be probably shit, but what we need is just some kind of jacket piece. Nah, okay, whatever, it's fine. It's completely fine. Progression. We have one million uh, in silver and lots of lots of other things that we're gonna use later. Hidden, but you can see. 1.2 mil, of course we will not use this, yeah? But that's what we have. All this gear we're gonna use later. Okay, it's a shitty chest, but better than nothing. Actually, you know what? 100k. Okay, it's not so bad. Let it be. We're fine, we're fine. Great talks! Tier 5, we're gonna use it. Nice, with all these items that we are getting, we're gonna use it. Okay, yep. As you can see, we can open. It's fine. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. It's time to open Chesterino. Conqueror's Challenge Chest. Let's go. Let's open. That would be Mamuta. No Mamuta, but some silverbacks. 80k. 200k. Okay, not much silver though, also. But we have 1.5 millions of silver. 1.5. Some items in our um, bank. And now we need to think where I need to build my first base. Almost in force telling. Let's stash all this stuff in a bank. Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. Claim all. One solo dungeon map. Learning points, 100 by the way. 100 learning points. Thank you. Silverbacks, 100k, 20k, 10k, 10k. Gathering tomes, lumberjack, we're gonna use. Hide, we're gonna use. Ah, I cannot learn this tome yet, okay. Oh, and this I cannot learn, okay. I'll stash it. These two learning points, 50 and 60. not bad. How much we have? 322 without even uh, acquiring premium. So, uh, we have 1.6 millions of silver. Our fame is uh, 2.5 millions. It's day one results. Now, we're gonna go and buy an island. Oh, no, no, we need to... We, we can get island only when we get premium. Let me get premium first. And again, that's the only thing that I gonna uh, buy with real money or with silver on other characters. Only premium. The rest of the rules are not changed. 3,750. Buy. Okay, now let's go on this art account. We are buying premium. Almost with real money. 
30 days of premium. Now we can get uh, our island. Let's go. Level 1, expand immediately. And another expand, we need to wait for 2 minutes. Why the hell we have this time gate? 2 minutes. For what reason, SBI? It do not bring anything into the game. To wait for 2 minutes? It is the longest 2 minutes of my life. It's true. The next upgrade will cost me 1.2 million. But we don't have money. 85k silver left. Oh, come on. I cannot even visit my island while it's building. Smelter. Weaving. Ore. And lumber. Ideal. The only thing that I will not be able to build is tools. But it's fine. Because with tier 3 tools, I will be able to gather tier 4 resources. 4.0. Which is enough to craft my first 4.0 gear. 4.1 we will upgrade uh, with the uh, runes, souls, and relics. Well, for 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. Later, when I'll have more raw silver, I'll expand my island even more and we'll be able to place um, other stations. And in such way, I will be able to completely maintain myself with basic 4.0 gear without counting on any luck. I do not take so much resources to craft myself my own gear. I think it's not bad. Yeah, like butcher, etc. We're gonna uh, craft it later. Look at my island. It's my new home. It's just incredible. Now, Warrior's Forge. Next, Mage Tower. And Hunter Lodge. Smelter. Tanner. We need to remove Mage Tower. Because I'm gonna use Soldier Helmet. And not Mage Cowl. We're gonna place a Mage Tower later. We don't have slots. We go and place Lumber Mill. And now we are ready. Now we are completely ready. Yeah, that's all we need. Stone Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are right. You are complete. Yes, this is uh, the most uh, refining stone. Quarry. Yeah. Forgot. Completely forgot about that. Now all is good. We need to go and gather, by the way, guys. Uh, lots of stone. Lots of stone to build all stations. After we're gonna finish building all the stations, we will craft our first tier 4 gear. And, uh, oh, reach the first positive reputation level. What do we get for the? And, by the way, guys, let's take, by the way, these rewards. Look at this. Miner. Journal. Now, journal actually matters. Like, on a main character, I was not even paying attention to the journal. Like, okay, it's a cool feature, but playing a hardcore, well, that hardcore, an Iron Man or Solo Cell Found mode game, Perception, the way how you play it, is just completely different experience. Wait, what we got? It's not a massive problem. Oh, we have tier 4. Mining ore, we're gonna use it. Man, I love this journal. Right now I'm going to the city because yesterday a guy that we killed, uh, and we got this uh, mount, he got some kind of tools, and if it's a, it's a stone uh, hammer, tier 4, it's gonna boost our gathering speed even more. It's big W, guys. It's fucking big W. You see what it is? It is tier 4 stone hammer that we got after we killed the guy. Nice. It's very huge. It's insane. Guys, it means that we can gather uh, tier 4 enchantment even resources right now. Let's go. 0.6 millions of silver to upgrade it to tier 3. Ooh, gather biomes. 10k resources. What did I get? Man, we got tier 8 tome. And focus restoration points. Man, this journal's, journal is incredible. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got something. Tier 5 Harvester Tome that I cannot use, but I'll use it later. Nice. 
And all we got, like all these tomes, different tomes from tier 8 to tier 5, from gathering one stone resource. It was Once it was for ore, another tome, now it's a harvester fiber tome. Do nothing and get rewards. We got gather 10 resources with enchantment level 1. Uh-huh. Chris, are you in chat? You send me a clip in Discord. Uh, Discord. We can watch it right now. Let me check it. It's solid. 8.4 weapon and 6.3 set. Incredible combo. Swipe to lose. Swargo checked this guy. He died seven times in Gucci gear. Like that. He thought that he will be able to swipe and win. But he failed. Okay, we have uh, one more thingy. Ooh. Master Quarrier Tome. And Adept Lumberjack Tome. I will take it. Oh my. Oh my. Journal. That's a game changer. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, let's go. Guys, we were waiting for this moment. For 10 hours of grind of stone. And it's time to craft all stations on our island. Craft our first tier 4 set for corrupted dungeons. Let's go. You think it's you can handle, but you cannot handle, my friends. You cannot. Like, I admire your confidence, but no. Not sure about that. But yeah, we are slowly upgrading these stations. Kill all, okay. Ah, we need one. Okay, we. 150 stone? Tier 2 limestone. Okay, this I did not expect. We are close. Guys, I think that's all. Yeah, we can transmute, guys. We can transmute tier 4 ore. We, can, we will play with 0.4 items. We built after 2 days of grinding. Last stream, actually 11 hours. We built all stations that I need and upgraded them to tier 4 in two days. Took two days to do this. Can you imagine? It's incredible journey. It's time to craft. We can craft helmets. We can craft boots. Ah, it's hungry. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna get more. But we have our first soldier boot, by the way. It's not bad. And this one. Soldier. Okay, we have a soldier helmet. Learn. Okay. Leather jacket. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to use items you can afford to lose. Man. What the hell? Like... <laughs> I gonna be I gonna sound probably you heard it thousands of times but when I was saying that Albion world could look incredible adding different structures into the game uh, towers like we had in tutorial island uh, some statics unique statics that we have in tier three locations look at look at this. Look at this handcrafted location with a sh and imagine there will be some kind of interactable object, like some kind of random shrine, like in Solo Dungeon that will spawn. Why not? Let it be a shrine that you can loot, that you can activate. Look at this location, the whole location. Have you ever seen structures like this in the other, like in the whole Albion world? No. Tier 2, Tier 3 locations were made with love. I got feeling they were handcrafted. That's what I want to see in the whole Albion world. A real world that you can uh, run around and enjoy. Come on, SBI. 
you can do it. Like this, see? High ground. Structure. Make interactable shrine for fun. Let it be. Let it be. Why not? With some kind of random buff for, for players that are passing by. That's what we need to make Albion look much better and combine it with weather effects that you can turn off uh, manually. Game would look twice better than it is right now. It should be two enough, yeah. Uh, let's equip this one. This one we study. Mm-hmm. Yes, learn. Now we use this one. Now we craft tier 4 war bow. Perfect. <gasps> Fuck! I, I craft bow instead of war bow. I'm a dumbass, guys. I'm a such a dumbass. All is good, all is right. Okay. War bow. Okay, guys. Guys. Congrats me. We have our first tier 4 set on a war bow. Hell yeah. Uh, let me get experience. Like this, like this, like this, like this. It's time. Let's go. Power level our set. And now what we have? We can use poison arrow. How much specs do we have? 30 mastery, yeah. And, uh, okay, one spec, but 30 mastery. Anyway, it's not bad. That's what we need. 12, okay. Let's take 225. We have 560. Let's upgrade our gear to point 0.1. Mm -hmm. We need more. But let it be. Not enough of raw silver. Mm -hmm. But we'll get it, we'll get it. Guys. Let's go. Man, I'm taking too much damage from this. Uh... Oops, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's good, it's good, guys. It's good. Our first skill. We, I'll play him on greed. We have uh, fire set. We have his horse. We have his consumables. Give it to me, man. Healing potion, giga, soup, lifesteal food. My heart was pumping. Like, guys, uh, I need to, I need to show. My, my hands are shaking because we are playing on a fucking SSF character we got lots of silver back it's incredible it's fucking incredible and that's what kind of emotions i was uh, looking for 
Who won? Guys, we got cape. Tier 5 cape. It's huge. He got a horse. It's a good thing. He's lagging. Hello. was watching your stream. Hello there. Don't watch my stream. Don't watch my stream. No. No. We have an actor, guys. We have an actor. What did you bring us? I know, I know, I know. You was trying to kill me, actually. You was trying to kill me. I know. But what do you have? Uh, you have two potions. You have a horse. You have cape. Um, a lucky demon loot. Okay, okay. Uh, more capes, more loot. I like it. Soup and stew is huge, man. Let's go next. We will go next. Well, more we farm. It's very important to skip setups that it's almost impossible to kill. Even if I will take this Q, then it will be anyway super tough fight. Super tough fight. Whoop, 10 game payment. Nice. 18k. Cleric. That's what we need. We go next. I'll use W a bit later. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, guys. It's huge. We got his horse. Nature. Tetford Cape. Now we can use Tetford Cape. It's insanely good. And we almost have money to buy a new bank tab. Amount of damage is fucking crazy. die
Nice. Like, I could finish him earlier, but I made so much mistakes. So much mistakes. But the thing is, we have his horse, uh, Imp Staff, uh, and that's what we come here for. It's good, it's good, it's good. Huge mistake in my rotation, last rotations. Poor poo. Oh my, actually, that's all we need. Like, boots, 7.1. Guys, 7.1 boots. And cape, 6.0. Ideal environment for me. Man, like, come on. Mwah. Look at this. 6.1 Satchel of Insight. Like, it's our day. We need to be careful. Okay, nice. 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 It happens. It happens, my friends. Okay. Um, a stalker that gives us a half potion instead for it. Tasty. Tasty loot. Unlucky boy. Playing on Blood Badger. Oh my. Battle. Bracers. Man, it's a sign. What else if not? And we can make 6.3 with Siphon Energy. It's a goddamn sign. Mm -hmm. Tier 7! On a Zim. It's a sign. Man, it's huge. Ideal. Well, yeah. Golden, come on. Very nice. Okay, let's go. 428. We got uh, some cool tier 5 items. I read to keep it's useless for me, but look at this. Wildfire, by the way, why cannot stick it? Okay. Wildfire, Druid, uh, Mercenary Hood, Schooler Cowl. All these items we can use. Except Heretic Cave, yeah? And 100k of silver. It's definitely not bad. We need to. We got so much horses. And what? 20k silver awaits me, SBI. Or maybe 50? No, it's 99. Ay, 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 ay. Well, listen, we will never go in these stupid solo dungeons again, randomized solo dungeons, unless it is a purple one or golden. Purple golden? We will. It was an enchanted dungeon. Tier 7. Blue one. It's still RNG, I do get it. I do, I do, but... Anyway, it feels so bad. Слухай, на халяву можна і сходити і подивитися, та. На 20k то таке... Oh my god! Tier 7 torch. I will take it. 17k! Let's go! I think it's not bad. Today was a good day. We made some kills in Corrupted Dungeons. We earned some raw silver. Some lucky loot. Not a huge progression, but I'm happy. As you can see, all these items, majority of them we have the, we got from PV and PvP in Corrupted. Lots of capes, Martlock, Avalonians, lots of bags, horses, 
Bedford Capes, Death Givers, Hellspawn stuff, Star like we're gonna use all this stuff, we will. Lucky loot from Solo Dungeon, Lucky loot from Roaming Mobs, it's actually not bad. So we need to upgrade our island in Tier 3 to build more stations. But for today it is over, I'll go and have some rest. Okay guys, love you all and see each other tomorrow, bye bye.